Welcome to Electro Online. And now that we think we understand inverse trigonometric functions, let's go ahead and solve this first example. So here we have a triangle. It's a right triangle. This is a 9 degree angle. We don't know this angle. We know the hypotenuse. We know the adjacent side. We don't know the opposite side. And we're asked to find the angle. So I'm looking for a trigonometric function that relates the hypotenuse to the adjacent side. That's the cosine of the angle. So the cosine of theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So it's very important to remember all these ratios for those six trigonometric functions, especially for the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, which are the, more, the three most practical trigonometric functions. So since we're now looking for the angle, we can then say that theta, the angle, can be found by taking the arc or the inverse cosine of the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Now we plug those numbers in there, so theta is equal to the arc cosine of the adjacent side, which is 1.414, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 2. And then all we have to do is get a calculator out. And we take 1.414 divided by 2. We then take the arc cosine, and actually, you know what? If you were to do that, and you write down the intermediate value, Notice we get 0 0.707. Ah, that should ring a bell, because that is equal, theta, that's equal to the r cosine of the square root of 2 over 2, because the square root of 2 over 2 is 0 0.707. And remember that the cosine of the angle theta giving you square root of 2 over 2 it has to be a 45 degree angle. So therefore, theta must equal 45 degrees. And for that, we don't even need a calculator. Or you could have simply said, OK, let me punch in 1.414 divided by 2, take the inverse cosine of that, and you get 45 degrees. So either way, you could solve the problem. And that's how we do that.